Hey guys, what's going on today? It's Cold Place here. We're back to, or I'm back to, with another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play for Forgecraft, or not Forgecraft. I'm tired of, I've been watching too much Forgecraft. But of Direwolf 20's Let's Play, or Direwolf 20's Mod Pack. So, um, since last episode, I haven't done too much, I don't believe. I've been mining and, uh, mostly killing stuff. But this episode, we are going to go ahead and work on. Um, a way to charge our tools. So we are going to be making um, three redstone flux capacitors, one for my pick, my sword, and my hammer. So we're gonna do that, and then uh, I added a modifier with both my sword and my hammer because I ran out. But to make this, we just need to make three of these, which is that, and then there's that, and there's that. So it's not too hard to make. Uh, I just made up some soul first. I can go ahead and start. So. To start, we're just gonna grab this. Sorry, my voice probably sounds terrible. I know. I am sick right now, and it sucks really bad. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But yeah, it is awful. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Alright, so we need to make that. Um, what am I missing for that? Um, we need to grab our invar. Invar should be in here. Actually, I think it is in this. Um, no, it's in our inventory. Oh, it's because these aren't stackable. That's what it is. That was awful. Like, honestly, my voice is just awful right now. Like, you guys don't even understand. I feel terrible. It can't, it's sounding awful. It's freaking really bad. Um, I need one more ingot. Um, here we go. Alright, um, and some redstone, uh, I did that wrong, what was it, um, oh, it's 10 at the bottom, not in bar, um, I don't have 10 on me, alright, there we go, so now we got a hard in one, or three of them, I guess, up there. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my voice is never this bad, like I can't even talk, I'm going to be back in a second, okay guys, hopefully my voice will stop, probably not, because this is just terrible right now, um, okay, so we should have everything, we need to make this, um, this, this goes here, and that, diamond at the bottom, and redstone, Gosh, you guys, this is so bad. I don't even know why I'm making a video right now. This is terrible. <clears throat> but there we go. So we got that. Um, grab our electron. And now we go to the workbench thing. And we will equip them. I got a little trophy, so that's cool. I like that. Alright, so put that, on, put that on there. My voice will stop freaking doing this. Oh my gosh. And then the same with these. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm gonna have to do that one in a second. I should be able to do it on this one though, or not. Um. So you have to have two thousand. Um. Be able to have two thousand durability on your item. So I might have to remake my uh, stuff. So I'll be right back whenever I figure out what I'm gonna do about that. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and make a new pickaxe, that way I can just go ahead and be able to do it without having to wait, waste <clears throat> a bunch of modifiers. So I'm making it with a manual and pickaxe head, uh, paper bindings, and Ardite tool rod. So there we go. Um, so this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, probably don't really need that. But this one I'm going to go ahead and put my modifier on. Where's my, there we go. That'd be my first modifier, and then I'll put uh, the luck on it later on. But, and then for my sword, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably just make the sword over again. But I do not have any cobalt, so I might have to go to the nether. But I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so I decided I'm just going to go to the nether, pick up some manual, so I can go ahead and make a new sword, and then I can get the modifier that I need. So I'm going to grab this bucket of blood and I'll be back whenever I'm back up there making a new okay guys so I don't know why it's doing that um hold on
Okay, so I made an Ardite tool rod and I found some cobalt. So I'm going to be making a manulin for the. If I can find it, sword cast. Okay, so grab that. And then I need paper. I have it on me. For. Um. I'm not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Wide guard. Need paper. Go ahead and make one of those. And then hopefully. This sword will be high enough. Um, there we go. Oh wow, 2,800. Perfect. So I will put uh, Fortune 3 on it later. But for now, we will put our flux capacitor on it. And now we have all three rechargeable weapons. Or all three rechargeable tools. Uh, I will also be making a bow. Um, probably do that off camera. I'm going to probably find some blue slime. Wherever I can do that. I'll probably find a slime island. Uh, I believe I have actually I have some stuff in this chest that I think I found from a slime island. So I can grow these slime trees. So I guess I already have stuff to make uh, my slime bow. But <clears throat> I will be doing that. It's probably off camera. But I'll probably make it either fully out of slime or something like that. But I'll show you guys. The end result and what I made it out of and all that later on. Uh, I probably will make that rechargeable. Or I may just make a flux bow for now. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. Actually, I just realized I have to make a flux bow. Because, yeah, they don't have the uh, long bows in here yet. So, I'll just make a flux bow because I was thinking of Forgecraft. So, I'll probably just make a flux bow. Um, I may do that either next episode or I may do that off camera. But I will go ahead and show you guys what a flux bow looks like. So it just needs some obsidian rod, which is just blaze rod and uh, obsidian dust. Uh, a few pieces of string, and then this stuff, which can be made out of that. And um, this stuff, which comes from a fluid transporter and electrum, <clears throat> electrum blend. So that won't be too hard to make, but I'll probably make that either next episode or off camera um so besides that i need to make my wireless charger so um go ahead and look that up so i'm gonna need um what is that uh three four seven pieces of electrical steel as you can see it's pretty easy to make and one of these which uh is why i made some vibrant alloys and then uh, this, I made a slice and splice in my house. Uh, I'll show you guys that. Sorry if you guys heard that. Um, okay, so here's my slice and splice. I made this for this purpose only, really. But I'm going to need to make this, which will require Enderman head. Two solarium, two pieces of silicone, and a vibrant alloy. So, throw that in there. Um, an Enderman head, silicone, solarium. I think that was everything. Alright, so that goes in there. Solarium there and there. And then, there we go. So, that'll take a little while to uh, go ahead and finish. Actually, it's going pretty fast. But, um, so that'll make us that. So we're going to go ahead and make this electrical steel, which is iron ingot, pulverized coal, and silicone. So we're going to need seven silicone, seven of that. So I'll grab the iron and that. And do I have my silicone? I mean, not my silicone. Um, What was it? Hold on. Um, Iron. Do I have iron? Okay. So I'm going to throw this in the alloy smelter over here that I made. I made this one so I can cook potatoes and uh, just kind of alloy smelt whenever, because I use the other thing usually for, <clears throat> gosh, I use the other one for other stuff, 
So we're gonna put that in there. Okay, so now we need to make this. So to make this, I just need to make two of these. I think I already have that made. I'm not sure. Um, let me look. No, I don't have it made yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and just make that off camera because that's really easy. So I'll be right back whenever I finish that. All right, I do believe I have everything to make this now. So uh, that's probably not stackable. Not that. Um. Okay, so the that thing. Oh, I haven't made that yet. Uh, so I need to make that real quick. Do I have what I need? No, I do not. Um, I made a vibrant alloy. I think that's over here. All right. So put that down on here. Nope, wrong thing. Okay, so we got one of those. Um, there we go. So now we have our wireless charger. So I think I kind of want to put this in the middle of my house, although I don't have a way to hook it up. Um, I'm gonna see how much RF per tick it uh takes. Uh, hold shift. Charges items in nearby inventory. Um, I don't know how f much RF it takes. Uh, let's look, let's grab a power monitor real quick. I don't know f how easy those are to make. Um, I'm gonna pause it real quick. Alright, so we're gonna need okay, so we're gonna need quite a bit for power monitor. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Um I think for now Um I don't think it'll take that much. Can I just can I just Alright. Okay, so I think we'll just set that up there for now. And then we should be getting our ref. Okay, so our sword is charging up. So I'm going to uh, let it charge for a little bit, and I'll be back in a few. Oh yeah, and another thing since last episode. I have made this Sterling Generator, so I'll show you guys how to make that. <clears throat> that Sterling Generator. So it's pretty easy to make, as you guys can see. You just need to make some stone bricks, a uh, furnace, piston, and a couple basic gears. Um, so pretty much... I'm putting. I'm about to make a octo whatever the good capacitor is that I just made another one of. I'm about to make another one of those, and then as soon as I have that, it will be more efficient than uh one of these survival generators, and it'll be running at 80 RF per tick. So as soon as I get that done, that'll be running really good, and I might make a couple of those. So I'll see you guys in just a second, as whenever whenever I'm done making that stuff. Alright, and so now that we have one of these in here, it should be running at 80 R per tick, and it will be doing a little bit better. So right now, it's taking a lot of energy because we're still trying to charge up our tools. So that's going to take quite a while, but whenever that's done, it will start doing a little bit better. But it's pretty easy to get 80 R per tick from that, so that's pretty decent. Um, However, we are really low on energy because of it. But I'm going to go ahead and let these charge up a little bit more and maybe think about another way of getting a little bit more energy. I might just make another one of these, but I'm not sure yet. But I'll be right back in a few whenever I'm done thinking about this. Okay, guys. So right now I'm making up some conductive iron so I can go ahead and start uh, running my system through everything with some energy conduits. I'm going to be using Ender IO for a good bit because I like Ender IO. It's pretty cool. But um, besides that, I am going to go ahead and make a couple elevator blocks. So for that you just need some wool surrounded by ender or an ender pearl surrounded by some wool. So we're just gonna put this over here, or we'll put it like right here. Okay, so I'm not sure where I want the other one right now, but I have cleared out a little spot down here. But um, I think we're gonna go down a little bit further eventually. But for right now, yeah. See, there's a cave under there so I'm gonna have to figure something out with that but for right now that will work um it should work okay there we go it doesn't take levels right okay good but um besides that um, I'm still waiting for this stuff to go ahead and finish recharging so I'll be back in just a few guys 
So guys, I'm just going to show you guys a tool that's really good for when you're mining a bunch of stuff. It's called the DevNull. So what you want to do is you want to right click it and then put whatever, if you put an item in it, it'll <clears throat> I'll show you. Say I drop like, and then I'm going to need more cobblestone than that. Okay, so, okay, see I have, it'll collect 64 cobblestone in that. And then see when I try to pick up some cobblestone, it will, if my inventory won't lag, it'll just make it disappear. So that's really good for cobblestone whenever you're mining and stuff. Uh, it does look like one of my slime trees grew, so that's good. <clears throat> good, if my voice won't freaking do this. Oh, uh, it's annoying. It's annoying me. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my cool, but this is really bad. But um, besides that, um, I think that's about it right now. So I'm just clearing out the bottom. So I'll be, I'm almost done. I'll be back in a few. All right, guys. So I have that pretty much finished. Um, I patch this little hole up. And now I have that done. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple torches right there. Alright, so besides that, um, I'm not sure what else I'm wanting to do for now. Um, I'm going to pause it for just a minute and I'll be back whenever I figure out what else I want to be getting done this episode. Alright guys, so what I want to do now is go ahead and hook everything up. So for starters, I'm going to put my wireless charger just down here. I'm going to place it like right there. And then I'm going to hook it up through this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop. Actually, it pops out. So that's good. So that's probably going to be running from over there. Um, right now, I actually, I should probably get these things running. Uh, I won't be using these forever, but... For now, I need energy, and I don't have a better source of energy quite yet. So I'm going to be using these for just now. Um, I should have grabbed my generator rolls up there. Okay, so we're going to pick up that. And, um, actually, I think we're going to move these down there, too. Because we might as well. Um... I don't have anything to break these. I'll just break these by hand. Um, and then I'm going to go back downstairs and go ahead and set that up. And I'll be back in just a second. Alright guys. So now that I'm down here, I went ahead and set those down. Um, I'm in bat mode right now. Well, actually I'm in fire bat mode. So that way I can just fly and be able to do this. Um, I'm Hopefully I don't think I'll need a Yeti wrench quite yet. Um, let me. I think I have to hit it with my fist. And able to configure it. Um, there we go. So I just want it to go in and always active. And on the red channel, that works, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Um, I don't need that. I guess I'm going to break that. Actually, I guess I'm going to grab a Yetta wrench. So to make a Yetta wrench, it's pretty simple. I think it's just, uh, I think it's in bar. It might be. Probably electrical steel. So I'm gonna make a couple electrical steel and I'll be back whenever I got that. Alright guys, now I have my Yetta wrench. I'm gonna go up here. I'm lagging for some reason. Alright, um, I believe if I right click that it'll give it to me. Nah, I can't shift right click. Um there we go. Um I don't know why it's bad. There we go. Okay, so now we'll run that down here. Um, actually, I should probably run this back. Okay, that's really freaking annoying. I'm going to shift right click. I can't do that while I'm baffling very well. Alright, um... There we go. And we're just gonna put this on the back then. So let's do that. And that. That. And that. Alright, so run that down here. And through this way. 
Um, there we go. So that should be working. Um, I need to check the settings on all of them though. So, not shift right click. Um, how do I do that? There we go. All right. So extract. And that's all I need him on. Um, extract. Um, what is this? Um, I can put him on in and out. Actually, I guess I can. No, that's fine. <clears throat> All right. Um, what is this? Alloy smelter needs to be on. Uh, just insert and then insert and is this thing working already? It does look like it's working. Um, let's see what it's on. In and out. Um, I guess really just insert. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> fine, if I can freaking stop talking like that. But anyways, guys, um, let me see. I think that's about, that, about it for this episode. Uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be pretty short today. My voice is freaking killing me. I can barely even talk, but... Hopefully you guys enjoy it, although I'm sure you probably didn't probably didn't watch this far because my voice is just freaking awful right now. Like I can't believe how bad my voice is. I'm sorry guys, my voice has been so bad ugh, so bad. Hopefully next episode I will be talking normal for once again. And sorry guys. Uh see you guys next episode on, on Dire Wolf 20's Let's Play. And see you guys next time. Go ahead and like and subscribe.